The day Queen Jezebel died, one of the worst deaths in the Bible. Queen Jezebel was one of the most wicked women in the Bible. She was the wife of King Ahab of Israel, and she led him into idolatry and Baal worship. She also persecuted the prophets of God and killed many of them. One day, Elijah the prophet prophesied that Jezebel would die a terrible death. He said that dogs would eat her flesh in the field of Jezreel. Years later, King Ahab was killed in battle, and his son Jehoram became king. Jehoram was a wicked king, just like his father. He continued to worship Baal and to persecute the prophets of God. One day, Jehu, a general in Jehoram's army, was anointed king by Elisha the prophet. Jehu went to Jezreel to kill Jehoram and Jezebel. Jehoram was killed in battle, and Jezebel heard the news. She painted her face and did her hair, and she went to the window to watch Jehu approach. Jehu saw Jezebel at the window, and he shouted, Who is on my side? Who? Two of Jezebel's eunuchs looked out the window and said, We are on your side, sir. Jehu said, Throw her down. The eunuchs threw Jezebel out the window, and she fell to the ground. Jehu rode over her with his chariot, and her body was trampled by the horses. Then Jehu went into the palace and ate and drank. Afterwards, he said to his servants, Go and bury that cursed woman, for she is a king's daughter. But when the servants went to bury Jezebel, they found that only her skull, her feet, and her hands were left. The dogs had eaten the rest of her body, just as Elijah had prophesied. Jezebel's death was a terrible death, but it was a just punishment for her wickedness. She had persecuted the prophets of God and led Israel into idolatry. Her death was a reminder that God will not tolerate wickedness and that he will eventually punish those who sin against him.